Hey guys, Andrew here with Stay Roasted talking about grinding coffee. Specifically, what coarseness of grind is appropriate for which brew method? So we have some examples here. Starting my right here, we have coarsely ground coffee, which is excellent for a French press. So in general, the longer the water is gonna stay in contact with the coffee, the coarser the grind. So in this case, we're gonna have water and coffee together without much movement for about four minutes uh, in the French press. The second grind we have here is a medium coarse grind. Excellent starting point for a Chemex. You really have sort of a hybrid of both the ground sitting in water as well as flowing, as well as the water flowing through the grinds uh, on a Chemex through that Chemex filter. So medium coarse grind for a Chemex, excellent place to start. The third one here we have a medium fine grind. Excellent starting place for uh, a pour over method. In this case, our V60 where we're pouring water directly across the coffee beans. It's not sitting there for very long. So uh, we really want a, a finer grind uh, than say a French press because there's really not as much time uh, in contact with the water uh, as you would have in some of these other methods. And then finally, uh, we have uh, the espresso grind or fine grind with espresso waters under pressure going through the coffee uh, in under you know, between 25 and 30 seconds. So, very fine grind on espresso, and uh, there you have it. We have four different starting points for grinding your coffee and pairing the grind with the brew method. So tell us what you think. How do you grind your coffee? We'd love to know. Hit us up in the comments. Let us know how everything's going. And we'd also love to answer any questions you have about grinding your coffee. Until then, thanks for watching.